This video shows a real-time video of a takeoff on a commercial job from start to finish using Earthworks. We added notes and titles, but the takeoff is not edited. It's real-time. Let's show you how we input existing contour lines. Just a single click of the mouse fills in the entire contour line. We are going to input all of the existing contour lines by simply typing the contour elevation. Then we will click the contour line. It's that easy. Once we enter the first two elevations, the software recognizes that the contours are going downhill at a one-foot interval. This page has about 50 existing contour lines. We are going to input all of the lines in just under a minute. You can see how much faster we can do a takeoff in comparison to gritting this job out by hand or even using a digitizer where we would have to trace every line from beginning to end. Just a few more contours and then we're done. Now, let's move on to the proposed contour lines. The process for entering the proposed contour lines is similar to the way we input the existing contour lines. It's a little hard to see, but the software is filling the proposed contour lines from beginning to end with a red color. We must type in the first two contour elevations and then the software will automatically recognize the interval the contours are going up or down. As you can see, the input is simple and it didn't take more than a minute or two to enter all of the proposed contour lines. We are done. We have completed the input of every contour line on this set of plans. Let me show you how we enter building pads with the Earthworks software. We start by typing in the finished floor elevation. Next, we define the materials and depths of materials in the pad. A single click of the mouse inputs the entire footprint of the pad. There are two pads on this project. We repeat the same process. Input the finish floor elevation to find the materials in the pad. And then we click on the footprint of the pad. Now, let's move on to the parking lot. When we input a road, sidewalk, trash enclosure, or in this case a parking lot, we use a feature called subgrade area. The process starts by defining the types of materials and depths of materials being used in the paving area. Once we have defined the materials, we start clicking around the perimeter of where the paving is going to be applied. This will take the elevations at the top of the pavement and drop them down to the subgrade elevation. We have defined the elevations at the top of the pavement when we input the proposed contour lines. Although it's not shown in this video, you can use colors to call out the different subgrade areas. We will break out heavy duty paving for the traffic lanes and light duty paving for the parking stalls as separate subgrade areas. The color shading helps to make sure you haven't missed anything. The software will report the area cubic yards and tonnages of all of the materials. You can also subtract out islands and landscaping areas. We are almost done. Just a few more clicks. We have completed the input of the parking lot. When we calculate the job, we start by looking at the existing contour lines and the existing spot elevations. We factor in any topsoil strip or any topsoil respread. Then, we look at the building pad and the materials in the building pad and lower the pad down to the subgrade elevation. We do the same with the paving areas and sidewalks. Earthworks will also calculate underground utility volumes and pipe details. The totals report breaks out the cubic yards of cut and fill, import and export volumes, and the amount of topsoil strip 
and topsoil re-spread for this project. The report will also break down the square foot areas, cubic yards, and tonnages of all of the materials in the paving areas. The cut and fill color map shows all of the cut areas in red and all of the fill areas in blue. The cross-section view shows the existing topography in green and the proposed elevation and depth of the subgrade material in red. The 3D view will show you what the finished site will look like so you can see if you made any mistakes. You can rotate the image 360 degrees and look at the image from different angles. That's it. A real-time takeoff. I promise we didn't speed up the video. Imagine doing a project of that size in under 15 minutes. I just showed you how it can be done using the Earthworks software. Go to our website tallysystem.com where you can get more information and sign up for a 14-day free trial. Or give us a call or shoot us an email at sales at tallysystem.com if you have any questions. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.